Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to Premier Explosives Limited Q4 and FY23 earnings conference call. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode. And there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Vishal Mehta. Thank you, and over to you, Mr. Mehta. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I, on behalf of Telar Investor Relations, welcome you all to Premier Explosives Limited Q4 and FY23 earnings conference call. We shall be sharing key operating and financial highlight for the quarter and full year ended March 31st, 2023. We have with us uh, today the senior management team of Premier Explosives Limited, Mr. T.V. Chaudhary, Managing Director, and Mr. Shrihari Pakalapati, Chief Financial Officer. Before we begin, I would like to state that some of the statements made in today's discussion may be forward-looking in nature and may involve risk and uncertainties. Documents relating to the company's financial performance have already been emailed to you. Now I invite Mr. Chaudhary to share his initial remark on the company's performance for the quarter and full year. Thank you, Ishal, and good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining the call, and we'll begin the call with company's operational performance during the quarter, and followed by the key industry updates. In our last conference call, we have already informed about the new development on DRDO technologies which has been already transferred to us and we are fully working on those technologies. As we completed design and development of the products for foreign companies, that is for export purpose, supply orders started coming and we have, also, we have manufactured and delivered the first batch of supply order in the month of February and the last quarter of financial year 2023. Execution of these production orders will be Done in, that is complete execution, will be done in financial year 2023-24. Now, during the year, we have generated healthy cash profit of Rs. 16.5 crores with our execution run rate stable and given the nature of our cost structure. The operating leverage of our business will help us to generate better cash flows, which will be utilized towards strengthening of our balance sheet. We had started the year with the order book of rupees 389 crores, and we have received order inflow of almost rupees 340 crores during the year, and we have reported the current outstanding order book as on 31st March 2023, stood at approximately rupees 521 crores, which translates into 2.58 times of our financial year 23 revenues. We have dispatched the first export shipment of rocket motors for the overseas entity in February 2023. Premier Explosives is the only qualified Indian company for countermeasures and the only Indian company which is into export of fully assembled rocket motors. In addition to the rocket motors and warheads, production of mines against new orders is going on at Katapalli plant. This is expected to give good boost to revenue in the coming quarters and financial year 24-25. In addition to the uh, production facility for medium caliber ammunition is ready and this facility also is expected to generate, start generating revenue in the financial year 24. The defend your news were affected during the financial year ending 23 due to the delays in clearances for deliveries from departments, uh, that is, uh, export licenses, and also the hardware issues. Uh, the first delivery, which should have been done in the third quarter, has come to fourth quarter, and come further deliveries will be regularized in the current year. Export billing also has differed due to the delays in this, and uh, we are expecting this to, come, to be made up in the current year. Now, coming on the present industry status, uh, about the defense industry, as previously stated and as you may be aware, India's defense sector has a robust industrial ecosystem, and the Atmanirbhar Bharat strategy has been working well, 
with the Indian defense industry. And the Indian government's Make in India policy has also been promoting various industries, including the defense industry at large. Uh, supported by government's continuous efforts of policy and the excellent support of the country's defense sector, India accomplished an extraordinary milestone in defense exports in fiscal year 22-23. Exports have reached an all-time high of about 16,000 crore, up by rupees 3,000 crore from the previous financial year. It has grown by tenfold since 2016 and 17. India intends to spend Rs. 2.75 lakh crores on defense equity in fiscal year 2024. Almost all the defense equipment will be purchased from Indian manufacturers to the dismay of the United States and Russia. India's defense imports are dropping year on year as the Indian defense sector strengthens. India's defense imports fell by 11% between 2013 and 17. And 2018 to 22, owing mostly to a cumbersome procurement procedure, efforts to diversify arms suppliers, and efforts to replace imports with homegrown products. Uh, coming to aerospace industry, with ISRO's success in establishing SSLV, that is Small Satellite Launch Vehicle, and Government of India's encouragement to private sector to take up satellite launching on commercial basis, opportunities are opening in space fields and these are expected to fructify in the coming three to four years. And the mining industry where the coal is the major mining sector, according to the Ministry of Coal, despite the hard environment encoded by Coal India, SCCL and other commercial mines in the country, total domestic coal production output has risen to more than 892 million tons in financial year 22-23, up by 14.65% from 778.21 metric tons, uh, million tons in 21-22. Uh, and it marks a historic movement for the coal industry in India. The coal sector's contribution to economic growth has contributed to India's rise under the current government and will continue to meet the country's growing energy needs. India has substantial coal reserves and intends to begin exporting the dry fuel by 2024-25. India is moving from a net importer of coal to a net exporter of non-coking coal. As the government prepares to gradually reduce thermal coal imports by 24-25, India's coal output is expected to climb to 1 billion tons in the next fiscal year, up from 900 million tons this fiscal year. The coal ministry has revealed that the government has already set a target of 1.3 billion tons of coal output for physical years 24-25 and a goal of 1.5 billion tons by fiscal year 29-30. Keeping all these uh, industrial sectors in mind, uh, we expect a healthy growth for your company in the coming years. Thank you. Now I request our CEO, CFO, Mr. Sri Hari, to give a financial performance. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. The results presentation for the quarter has been uploaded in the stock exchanges and on the company's website. I believe you all may have gone through the same. Now I would present the financial results for the fourth quarter and full year ended 31st March 2023. The revenue from operations for Q4 stands at 52 crores as compared to 60 crores in the corresponding period last year, which is a degrowth of 13% year on year. Our operating profit per Q4 stands at 8 crores as compared to 5 crores with a growth of 64%. The operating margin for the quarter stands at 15%. In Q4, we reported a net profit of 2.3 crores compared to 1.2 crores in Q4 with a growth of 98% as compared to the corresponding period last year. The revenue from operations for the Q uh, financial 23 stands at 202 crores as compared to 199 crores in the corresponding period last year, translating a marginal growth year on year, year on year growth. Operating profit for uh, FY23 stands at 26 crores as compared to 22 crores with a growth of 16% as compared to last year. The operating margin of 13% in uh, FY23. The net profit in FY23 stood at 6.7 crores compared to profit of 5.6 crores in last year, which, is, uh, which records a growth of 19%. Company has declared a dividend of 1.7 rupees per share for the financial year ended 31st March 2023. 
Now coming to the order book, the company's current total order book stands at 521 crores, out of which explosive business comprises around 90 crores. The higher margin defense segment is at 304 crores, which is 58% uh, of our total order book. And the service segment, that is operational maintenance, is around 127 crores. The order book represents a strong growth over the previous years. We are confident that with our continued execution run rate, our forthcoming quarters will continue the growth trajectory. With this, we now open the floor for questions and answers. Thank you very much. Very much, sir. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star then one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. You may press star and one to ask a question at this time. The first question is from the line of Dikshit Doshi from Whitestone Financial Advisors Private Limited. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, thanks for the opportunity and uh, congratulations on a good performance. Uh, so my first question is uh, regarding the uh, order book. So uh, uh, if you can mention uh, the execution timeline we are expecting for explosive and defense sector. Yeah, the explosive and defense sector execution timeline is one year, 12 months, uh, out of which uh, because of the delays happened in the last financial year. Yeah. It's most of the orders, they are all of one year execution period. But, uh, okay. Yeah. So you expect that this 304 crore of defense order book we have, uh, that will be mostly executed uh, entirely in FY24. That is the uh, plan. But what happens is uh, this execution, if the production is in our hand, but deliveries, they have to be affected only after inspection and clearance, and in case of exports, after getting the export license from government, which sometimes they are delaying the process of deliveries. So otherwise, they are all supposed to be executed in the current year. Okay, so let's say as per the agreements, they are supposed to be executed this year. And let's yeah. say considering some delays also, uh, we can execute it in 15 to 18 months. Yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, in, in the current year, uh, our revenue from defense and services was 98 crore. Uh, can you just mention how much was the defense and how much was the services? 82 crores from defense, sir. 16 crores from services. Okay. Uh, now, uh, this year, you know, uh, our order wins were uh, quite uh, good, 340 crore order win we have. Uh, if you can just guide us through, uh, let's say, what kind of order win we are expecting next year, FY24, and uh, which are the major uh, orders we are expecting, or any highlight you can mention, let's say, uh, where we have participated in the tenders, and uh, or any major tender opening up this year? See, in the rockets and uh, propellant segment, uh, the existing orders itself will uh, keep uh, coming, repeat orders will keep coming towards that because uh, as the we are uh, producing these and uh, providing to assembly to BDL, uh, the others are expected to continue for the existing missiles, that is uh, MR SAM and Astra, in the coming two to three years. And also the export orders also, now only the partial quantity only is uh, converted into order and we are expecting this to further to increase in the next financial year and a year later. So these are the things which will continue for the coming two, three years. In addition to that, the new areas that is uh, um, mines, what we are making for anti, uh, different kinds of mines, and also ammunition, which is going to be added in the uh, next financial year and uh, next. 
so can uh, can we expect that similar 300 400 crore order win uh, per annum will be continue yeah that, that's what we are expecting or it can be even uh, i mean uh, it can be even higher or more or less in that range we can continue it can be see we are also expecting some big orders uh, in emergency procurement from mod in the areas like where we are the present existing indian supplier that is the counter measures uh, i think that that once that is uh, finalized and that should add a big boost to our base okay and uh, you mentioned that repeat order can come for mrsm extra uh, mm-hmm. i think recently bdl has signed the mou for 8000 crore order for akash also yeah uh, so can we expect some order from that also this year yes yes this okay and typically uh, uh, if i uh, is my understanding right that uh, 3 to 4 percent is the kind of opportunity that we cater hello hello yeah please yeah uh, so is my understanding right that for any missile akash or astra uh, the value of that uh, missile uh, 3 to 4 percent is typically our uh, opportunity yeah very really difficult to say because it changes from missile to missile a uh, broad range would be uh, i mean historically whatever we have executed if you can just give a broad range that will also be helpful the in case of akash uh, our uh, this uh, that is propellants and energetic materials uh, the component is higher than that uh, 4% or 5% whereas in case of uh, other missiles where the seekers and the electronic systems and on board computers they are the costliest components in that case our uh, this will come down in terms of percentage okay so this propellant plus energy would be what 7 8% that is in case of akash we can take but in case of this other astra and msm such missiles it will be around that i think below 5% okay okay and uh, so uh, uh, what i understand that in akash we uh, give only the propellant or energy product uh, but when we export uh, we give the full rocket motor system right yes you are right so so uh, in terms of export this 7 8% will become much higher yeah okay how much can you mention no in terms of export we do not know uh, they but the other end customers and no what is the what kind of sticker system electronics they are going to add so since we do not know the final end price sale price we cannot comment on our percentage okay and uh, in terms of export uh, what i understood is uh, let's say over last one one and a half year whatever orders we have executed those are mostly for the testing thing and once they tested and the product is proper uh, of the uh, matches the quality then the real order or a big orders we can expect so can we expect some big orders this year or it is still in the testing phase and maybe big orders will come for in fy 25 now we have already received uh, production orders which now we already started production uh, if the like you have mentioned in my this the first consignment was dispatched in february so now every month we have to keep on delivering uh, one type of rocket 100 numbers per month and another type 50 numbers per month so already production process sta- started for uh, four different types of rockets and also warheads okay just couple of things and then i join back in the queue uh, so uh, in this bdl uh, or, or uh, in akash uh, we are the sole supplier right no there are other suppliers also but we are the largest supplier maximum quantity we have supplied in past even now we are supplying but otherwise there are uh, others also who took technology from drpo for producing akash propellants so for that uh, it's like uh, uh, bdl decide the quantity or it's the tender system it's a tender system usual l1 l1 process l1 l2 okay and last thing on this 304 crore of order book in the defense uh, how much would be export it was about 104 crores 
हंड्रेड एंड फोर करोड़ ओके ओके थैंक यू दैट्स इट फ्रॉम माई थैंक यू A reminder to all the participants: anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star then one on their touchstone phone. The next question is from the line of Vijay Goel from ICICI Securities. Please go ahead. Mr. Goel, I have unmuted your line. Kindly proceed with your question. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, sir. Uh, good afternoon. So my question was on the explosives segment. So Uh, so basically, we have done 42% growth in explosives, so 103 crores of revenues. So just wanted to know uh, how much explosive volumes we have done for this year and last year, FI22 and FI23. So basically, I just wanted to understand how much of this 42% growth it was driven by volumes and how much it was driven by realizations. So, yeah, Mr. Goel, if I understand correctly. You are asking for the volumes. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. That is tonnage that we have. Yeah, yes, sir. In terms. No, for uh, bulk explosives, uh, we have done about uh, about seven thousand five hundred tons in one location and about five hundred tons in another location. About eight thousand tons we have done last year. Growth, growth is come mainly because of the uh, pricing rather than the volumes. So the bulk explosives has gone up almost a double. I think uh, you, there, was a, there was a growth of 100% last year. Hello. Yes. No, sir. I mean, 8,000 tons of volumes you have, you have done in FI23. Yes. And what was in FI22? FI22 was almost about 4,000 tons only. 4,000 tons. Yes. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of Karan Gupta from Varenium Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, Mr. Gupta, please. Proceed. Yeah. Hi. So, I have a question uh, regarding the total volume. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Gupta. There is a disturbance from your background. May I request you to go to the quieter place and speak, please? Yeah. Hello. So. Thank you. Is it better now? Yes, sir. Please proceed. Yeah. So uh, my question is related to the total capex we are planning for the next two to three years, and which segment? How much capex we are planning? And the segment, uh, you know, segmentation, segment wise, big up the capex. So we are planning to uh, incur at least about. 25 to 28 crores capex in 23 24 so which is mainly almost to most uh, almost all the capex is required for the uh, uh, defense only not for anything more for the commercial purpose so any some nominal amounts okay so 25 to 28 crore yes okay and full uh, full goes to uh, defense sector sorry i didn't get This 25 to 28 crore will go to major defense. Major quantity will go to defense sector. Yeah, major amount is for defense sector. Okay, and uh, any plan for uh, capacity expansion in terms of volume? No, actually, this capex is required to strengthen our existing facilities and maybe adding some production lines and storage facilities. It's exactly this amount is not required. I mean, is not for the addition. I mean, increase in the capacity. Uh, no, no. Uh, this I understood about this capex, but uh, in future two to three years, any plan to uh, increase the capacity of bulk explosive or your packaged explosive? Bulk explosives. It is. Uh, we we have no plan of increase in the capacity because we have adequate capacity and the licensed capacity also. We are only planning to increase the storage capacity. because nowadays the bulk explosives are more dependent on the imported ammonium nitrate so there the storage gives us additional strength so a small part of it goes for the increasing the storage capacity okay so uh, and for defense defense sector uh, we have already established the facilities for production but like our cfo said 
most of this goes for adding some balancing equipment because uh, when the product changes it is suppose i give an example we produce propellants and rocket motors but all are not same different rockets have different motors different size different propellants so specific a product is produced you have to depending on the requirement you may have to add additional facilities and capacities and that really we cannot say it is for increasing the capacity but utilization of the present capacity only okay fair enough yeah. and uh, this ammonium nitrate part uh, uh, the price has come down right from around 65 to 60 uh, thousand per ton yes is it right or yeah you are right. yeah so uh, yeah so uh, from there we are uh, purchasing or the most of the industries players are purchasing in uh, mainly we are importing this thing right right yeah there's yeah, so any uh, reason is uh, can you uh, share this thing is this not the confidential thing the price simple thing is imported mm-hmm. price is lower than the domestic price, I mean, local price available okay so uh, domestically uh, like uh, some uh, chemical companies also uh, manufacturing this ammonium nitrate part so we are not uh, you know available uh, with this uh, prices so that's why we are importing so who is the uh, major uh, exporter of this ammonium nitrate in the overseas market thank you pardon this report last sentence yeah so major export of this uh, ammonium nitrate in the overseas market who is this uh, country or player oh. mostly it comes from the eastern bloc hello okay so eastern bloc any region or any major player who are exporting majorly to get okay. all the worldwide Uh, no sir uh, that is not our subject okay that is confidential i think confidential but it is not our area that we have ready information to share okay okay no go yes i'll back uh, the back in the queue yeah. thank you the next question is from the line of neeraj mansenka from white pine investment management please go ahead Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, just wanted to know about the uh, you know you are one of the sole suppliers for a lot of products in the propellants, in the missiles, and can you share us when you see the uh, uh, scale up of these happening, or is there a possibility that despite being a sole approved supplier, those products may not uh, you know be bought by the government in longer term also? We just wanted to know some thoughts of yours. see from the other book you will understand that at least the coming two years uh, you that indicates the current status to you and we have several uh, uh, things which are lined up like we i have shared in my uh, speech that um, we have already uh, absorbed some of the technologies from drdo which are going to meet the requirements and uh, government also is going to uh, list them in the a negative list for imports that is nowadays it is called positive list for in local production so right. we expect a good uh, continuance of the growth and like uh, so many products which i mentioned apart from the rockets and missiles we have countermeasures we have mines we have warheads which are now all of them are taking off these are the new additions to our kitty No, no. We are aware of that. that I think we have been discussing that on the calls also that these have been taking off. For but you know the the order book is actually if you see the order book of yours actually is coming down over the last four four quarters. The defense order book went down from three sixty to three hundred range. So uh, so just wanted to know a color on you that are you still seeing that traction there or you you see some more delays by the government in coming up with orders further orders. Uh, what can you further orders yes because if you see the order book that you were carrying a year back 
it was 346 crores now it's back to, down to 302 crores in defense side so you are actually gone down on the order book uh, despite uh, you know, the the government's intention and entire uh, you know, media releases of lot of uh, buying from the domestic side so is this just you see a temporary store on or or, or or do you see uh, a l l larger delays in executing or getting more orders in the in the future see the order current order uh, is an ongoing process while we are executing the orders on hand we are also participating in the rfps which are in the process and you know that you yourself commented we are the one of the very few players in this line so we are quite confident and that it will continue okay and the other question is uh, uh, how much supply to mr sam and lr sam will scale up and in the production for in the near future see as on date mr sam offtake will be in the range of 20 to 25 only per month this will continue like this in the coming for five years okay okay got it so any 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 other product that you think uh, can we should look at in terms of a larger growth in revenues or uh, order book for you there are others which are in pipeline like qr sam ngrm and um, astra all these now are yet to be productionized okay we have already participated in the development and success, succeeded and we are marked as a qualified vendor. Now they have to get converted into bulk volumes. Okay. And and few times back, you a few quarters, one or two quarters back, you had said that Astra is tapered down and you're looking at, sorry, Akash has tapered down and you're looking at uh, Akash Prime to happen whenever it takes over. I'm looking more towards uh, Astra and MRSM, that's what I told. So okay. not only that, you can add to that exports. Okay. And exports are mostly on the rocket motors, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Participants who wishes to ask a question may press star and one now. The next question is from the line of Aman Biz from Astute Investment Management. Please go ahead. Mm. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, my first question is on the uh, motors, uh, the rocket motors uh, division. So we have a, I think, peak capacity of 200 uh, per month. So if you can talk about what is the current run rate that we are doing and at peak, what is the peak sales we can do? Uh, uh, as well as if you can talk about the margins we get in this business. Not clear. Sorry, can you repeat, please? Sir, so rocket motors, uh, we have a capacity of around 200 per month. Uh, uh, is that right? Mm, no, I don't know this statement of 200 per month. Uh, where did you get this statement? Sir, one of the previous calls, may, uh, you had said that we can maybe expand it to 200 per month. Uh, is the need be? We have a large license capacity. We have a license capacity for 100,000 numbers of uh, propellant rocket motors per annum. That is our license capacity. And we also have a huge capacity. Only thing is to add more, we may be requiring some more uh, additional equipment, mandrels, tooling, and some bowls like that, which we keep on as the others come, we keep on doing. So 200 is not our limitation. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry, and uh, as of now, uh, uh, what is the run rate that we are doing? Yeah, with present current orders on hand, around 200 numbers per month we are doing, including okay, okay. and domestic. Okay, so that was the confusion. Uh, so, so, uh, so, uh, uh, and in terms of, uh, say, so we are doing around, say, 2400 motors per uh, year. So what is the sales that we are getting um, because of that? What is the sales we get? Sales from the, the 200. Sales 
So basically, the defense, major portion of the defense revenue is coming from there only. Hello. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I from defense for the 20 to 23 is uh, came from the racket motors and propellants only. Okay. Okay, sir. I I thought it is more for the propellant for the missiles versus rocket motors. So has the shift happened that now rocket motors is contributing much more than the propellant for the missiles? Yeah. Propellant for the missile is only propellant. This is with including rocket, but it is not the contribution part it is the volumes the rockets where we are exporting the volumes are large the per annum we are uh, we are talking about almost 2000 numbers and the balance 400 5 number 500 numbers only come for the domestic market so no, no i i was talking in terms of sales breakup so for fi23 uh, the defense sales uh, that we did what was the breakup of uh, motors versus uh, say the rockets or uh, sorry the propellant for missiles? It it just the exports of rockets has just started. Like we said that the first consignment has gone in the month of February. So mm -hmm. this year I think we'll be able to monitor that and then see that. Oh okay okay and so and in terms of 23 24 onwards 22 23 we have just started and we have done some first batch of small quantity. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, so, in terms of uh, the current order book of around 300 crore, what is the split of, uh, say, the rocket motors and? Uh, About 100 crore, sir. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, we can have uh, some figures and some discussions on this after the first quarter of the current year. Sure, sure, sir. My my second set of questions is uh, so last con call uh, you had updated us on uh, ammunition grenades that we were doing some uh, development come production orders. Uh, so if you can update us, what is the status of that and uh, what kind of sales are we expecting from this ammunition grenades uh, in this year? Ammunition grenade, uh, the transfer of technology part that is development. It is DCPP program with uh, DRTO is completed and our production facility also is completed so uh, and uh, right now this is against the development order we have done and we have participated in different uh, rfps so we have to see for the maturation of those uh, rfps and then getting orders so as on date except the development order we don't have any order on hand for this product mm -hmm. but but you had talked about this like one lakh orders demand. Yeah, uh, yeah. we so, have participated in RFPs, so we have to wait mm -hmm. for them to be finalized. Okay, okay. So is it expected the uh, result of those RFPs coming uh, in FI24 or it will take a longer time? See, these are uh, being procured by MOD as well as paramilitary forces uh, and CRPF and all those. The paramilitary forces and CRP of there, the quantities will be less, but uh, they are expected to come earlier, maybe in the current year itself. But MOD order, the processing and all takes longer time. Okay, okay. And uh, out of so 1 lakh was combined or 1 lakh was only MOD uh, you had one talked lakh about? Only MOD. Achha, so for paramilitary forces and CRPF, what could be the size? Maybe we are expecting that can be another 30-40,000 per annum. Okay, sir. And uh, we should expect some orders in first half or second half of the year in this no, paramilitary? Not, not in the first half. Because now we have completed the development work. Now user has to come in and see them, user trials, the, that part will be there. Okay. okay. So, so I, I thought the trials were also done. Trials are remaining. Uh, as of now. With uh, uh, DRDO and uh, self, those are completed. Now uh, we are offering to, we have already offered to user. Now they have to come back. Okay. So that will happen say, in the first half and then finally orders in second half. Is my yeah. understanding correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, my next question is, uh, so you've, you've talked about uh, future road drivers include QRTAM, NG, uh, NGRM and Astra. Uh, uh, do you think any of these will get into commercial production uh, in FI24 or uh, if you can talk about some timeline according to your estimate? Uh, 
and when can we see these uh, contributing to uh, revenue the qr sam we can expect in the next financial year that is q a uh, 24 25 okay currently it is there already we the bdl is the integrator for uh, astra astra is expected we are expecting that astra by the end of this year it will uh, fructify into the bigger bulk order otherwise right now it is small 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 quantities only going up 20 numbers 25 numbers like that and uh, qr sam development is completed but we are expecting this in 24 25 probably it will come and ngrm ngrm in uh, it is uh, uh, the rocket motor development that is our part is completed but the entire missile assembly that part is still going on so the commercial production will start only probably in the year 25 26 that's what i am thinking uh, sure sure sir and and we are hearing a lot of news regarding these new platforms like prithvi uh, yeah. and uh, others also lr sam so any part we might take in those also lr sam and mr sam is same we are doing both the name only is different lr sam is uh, naval version and mr sam is army so both are okay we are doing and prithvi no we are not in prithvi okay and sir are we present in these uh, they this uh, 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 very different category uh, atgm uh, like nag and amoga and helena so are we present in those also uh right now to see this um, uh, some of them are being uh, done with uh, um, double base propellants we are not in double base but we are in the new generation atgms and the small ones new ones we are there on it and uh, we are also dcpp partners and uh, the other uh, productionizing agencies we have mous with them okay okay so so out of this you are explaining the small ones so small ones will be which one uh, if you can name some platforms see we one is uh, wish rod you must okay. have heard of about it yeah yeah yes yes yeah, we saw it yeah. i think the platforms and names rather than mm-hmm. going into those things but uh, then uh, where we have other agencies also where we are working for uh, um, uh, with this uh, uavs or heads for us and all those so those are the areas where we are expanding for future uh, so so nothing on this uh, anoga and uh, nag side because these are double propellant yes okay sir so my final question is uh, in terms of uh, defense order uh, the contribution uh, the order inflow so we have 300 crore order so what kind of execution are we expecting in fy24 as well as what kind of additional orders uh, are we expecting for fy24 so actually we as per the schedule we are supposed to deliver at least 240 crores in fy23 24 which is again subject to the clearances from the departments and uh, depends on the export licenses and uh, logistics issues but as per schedule we are supposed to deliver to at least 240 crores in defense okay and the additional orders we are expecting apart from our current order book there are lot of orders in pipeline actually we are expecting some good large orders in near future but at this moment we cannot comment on that uh sure sir uh, thank you for answering the question thank you very much the next question is from the line of rupin masalia from rn associates please go ahead yeah thanks for the opportunity uh, see my questions are uh, you know uh, uh, pertaining to a longer time horizon uh, say oh, next the 3 to 4 years considering uh, your capabilities in high energy material and uh, capacities and of course uh, the tailwind uh, provided by the indigenous and drive by the government of india so where do you see uh, defense and uh, aerospace uh, business scaling up over next 3 to 4 years 
that's one part uh, second is you know uh, like you are uh, trying to uh, climb up the hierarchy of value chain by being uh, currently a component or subsystem supplier to being uh, a system integrator so in the light of that uh, over next 3 4 years where do you see the margin profile climbing up currently i mean whatever uh, margins you are enjoying in defense and aerospace business at ebitda level or maybe pbt ebit level so next 3 to 4 years the questions are scalability then uh, climbing up uh, the value chain hierarchy and of course margin profile so if you can elaborate on uh, this aspects thank you okay the growth wise like you yourself said the defense and sector is going and all those and apart from defense the aerospace we have not discussed up till now in none of the questions it appeared aerospace is one area where uh, the new satellite launch vehicles and all those are going to come in where the private sector is also going to join and other things so that is one area in the coming 3 4 years we see a big growth in addition to the existing ones and uh, you you are aware that countermeasures one of the products which we make now it has become uh, totally indigenous make in india only you cannot import so we ex- we are expecting to continue this further orders and increase in that area for the coming 3 4 years which is also a good contributor and we have enough capacity to produce so That's sir would it be yeah, yeah would be fair to presume that uh, you know uh, in next 3 to 4 years you can do a uh, uh, annual business of around say 700 800 crore kind of revenue from uh, defense and aerospace with around say 25 30% margins at ebitda level would it be fair yeah that uh, turnover uh, target yes we also have such uh, figures but we are a little conservative in announcing those but yes we have that and uh, a bit a level percentage of 30 to 40 percent expectation is a bit high no 25 30 percent sir i am saying 25 to 30 percent not 35 40 percent 25 to 30 percent we are uh, targeting 15 to 20 percent okay at ebitda level yeah right 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 okay that's it from my side and uh, all the best for future yeah thank you thank you The next question is from the line of Chirag Shah from White Pine Investments. Please go ahead. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. So, uh, most of the questions have been answered. One very basic question I had. I was just looking at your past order book, and it's conversion to revenue. That ratio seems to be very low. Uh, it, it, it is in the range of forty to fifty percent. Uh, So now, with 520 crore of order book that we have, what will change that the conversion ratios will improve significantly? That is one. And the second base, the past order book that you share, for example, in S19, you had 388 crore, then so on and so forth. Has there been any cancellation which have happened uh, uh, during the course of the time afterwards? So the two questions are. Yeah, about the, your observation of 40 percent, but this. Uh, i think that happened in case of two orders which we received mm. so that is uh, export orders where because of the uh, ongoing war and all those uh, mm. the licensing export licenses were not issued because of okay. that we had to withdraw from those orders other than that i think we are executing everything in So no, I was just looking at your overall order book, so that you, that you have given in the presentation, and yeah. I was looking at subsequent year revenue number. Sir, the like re- overall order yeah. book. So there is a major component is from O and M operation maintenance. Yeah. This contract for the SAR, which is there for long tenure, which is for ten years. So yeah. even at this moment, we have one twenty seven crores, which is to be executed in the next seven years. So this is okay. a fixed contract. Uh, every year you get the, some 16 to 18 crores continuously. So this uh, this you cannot uh, average it because this is a major component which comes on, uh, for the next seven years. Rest of the order book is normally we are making it to 55 to 60 percent. Okay. And uh, so it, uh, then it should get added to the next. Does it get added to the next year order book or the order book that you give at the end of the year is a fresh order? 
and not a carry forward of the past order also the current swelling that is last year swelling of order book yeah yes that is going on execution is going on and like i mentioned due to delays in the uh, pre dispatch inspections and other things and this that the, those orders have flown into the current year and they have executed in current year okay so last year of 390 crore order whatever has not been done and which is not cancelled gets added to current year 521 crore order book right yes that's how one should look at it and that would have been the trend over the year that's how you give your order book sir yes and so just a clarification this onm order is an ongoing order right so every year you must be getting some onm order no 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 sir it is a long tenure contract for 10 years which we received in 2020 So okay. after which we have com- just completed three years and seven years is still left. Okay, so you just keep on reducing that number every year. Yes, yes. exactly. Okay, and the second question generally are there order cancellations which happen? So you may have added to the order book and then suddenly government decides not to procure. Is it a re- frequent feature because uh, over last five six no, years? No such, no such no. thing. This is. happened once in uh, about two years back for Turkey and that was. No, no, no. no. it is not any cancellation of order it is our uh, cancellation because the government of india did not give the license that's what i told you know okay uh, two export orders uh, for uh, explosives that is high explosives which we booked finally we had to inform them that we cannot supply because uh, the government of india did not give license for exports so okay. other than this there is no cancellation of any order at least of my knowledge Okay, uh, and just one thing. So, uh, of uh, of the 400 crore of order book or 395 crore order book X of O N N, you are saying 60 or percent can be converted uh, uh, subject to the availability of licenses and other other parameters that you indicated. Right. Is that the fair way to look at it? Yeah, okay. No, so actually, I don't understand this convertibility of 100 percent. It will be converted. Okay. 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 No. Sometimes it happens that this year, because of these reasons, it may overflow to next year. Then the okay. loss of this year becomes gain of next year. So yes. do we call that as uh, only partial execution? No. No. Fair point. Fair point. Thank you. Thank you very much. I understood. I, I was just trying to understand that. Yeah. Because we, there is no cancellation, and we are executing all the others. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, and all the best. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Before we take the next question, a reminder to all the participants: anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone phone. We have the next question from the line of Aman Wiz from Astute Investment Management. Management, please go ahead. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity again. So my question is on the space side. So, so you have talked about uh, we are already doing solid propellant for SSLV uh, uh, vehicles. So, uh, uh, among the other vehicles like GSLV and PSLV, uh, do we also supply anything for those vehicles? And also, uh, uh, no, we 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 are not making for SSLV. I think you heard wrongly. We are making for PSLV. PSLV, there are strap-on motors, PSOM XL. those we are making in our facility and sslv yes we have participated in sslv in our ongoing service contract at sri harikota and new plant of sslv and all those the discussions are going on their plant and all those but as on date sslv production is not there it is only being done at sri harikota okay okay so so on the pslv side sir so last two three years in terms of long term strap on motors for pslv and we still hold orders for three more motors in hand which will complete in this current year thank you also the participant has left the queue we move on to the next question which is from the line of anant jain an individual investor please go ahead yeah uh, thanks for the opportunity sir uh, my first question is uh, on the uh, on the uh, artillery grenade side uh, i just uh, want to understand in terms of mod approval what way are we uh, for that uh, item 
Sir, uh, this is uh, this we are manufacturing under DCPP program. DCPP program is Development and Production Partners with DRDO. So ARDE and uh, uh, with ARDE hand holding, we are working on it. And ARDE is interacting with the MOD for clearance and all those. So we have already submitted to uh, MOD that we are ready with the product and all those. So now uh, they have to come and then see the probably, they will decide that this is only from my side, that facility inspection and the product trial uh, testing of the product, <coughs> that has to be done still by the user. Okay, because what we keep hearing is that uh, there is a lot of shortage uh, in terms of these grenades, artillery grenades, but uh, we still don't see any fast movement happening on this. That's what uh, we keep hearing about it. Uh, at the well, same you time... Right, uh, you are right about the shortage. There is a requirement demand. That's why the in DRDO ARD laboratory is... Uh, working on this and they are very closely monitoring and day-to-day uh, -day interaction is going on and uh, samples are tested and tried and done and all those. There are four variants in it. Out of four variants, two are the uh, main requirement and those two are already developed and uh, demonstrated to ARDE. Now MOD we have to demonstrate. So my, my second question is again on the same thing, because MHA, we were expecting MHA orders somewhere around March, April time frame. Uh, but uh, what are the reasons for the delay there, sir? Not known, sir. We are not ever from their side, because they, usually it happens, whether it's MHA or MOD, the emergency procurement itself takes three, four months. So regular procurement, it may go to anything six months to one year before they are finalized. And for for these grenades that we are making, is this also is like you know 100% uh, made in India, and uh, uh, do we don't have any imported components in these? Yeah, right now what we are making are with 100% Indian components, but uh, we may have to look about some imports in future, some of the components. Uh, what is the reason for that, sir? Because I think these have to be made in India only as per uh, the government requirements. No, as on date, we are dependent on uh, uh, MIL, that is Munitions India Limited, for uh, okay. some energetic components. So okay. depending on their policy of uh, availability, making it available to the other industry, uh, our imports will depend. If they cooperate and they can meet our requirement, then we need not go for imports or anything. But otherwise, we have to look for another uh, alternate sources. Uh, one other question is, sir, because, I mean, and this is mainly because of the concern of fall in the order book. Of course, we all understand that, you know, the long-term uh, opportunity is there for us, but this fall in order book from last year to this year from on the defense, I uh, just wanted to understand in terms of... Uh, either in terms of tenders or bids or in terms of RFPs, uh, if you can give us some uh, understanding as to, you know, where we were last year and where we are now, uh, just to get a flavor of, you know, how our order book can shape up going ahead. Uh, if, if you can give some value. We received the major orders in defense only in the FH, somewhere around April and May. And uh, there has been significant increase in order book from defense uh, during the year 2022-23. Out of which there has been some executions. So, but uh, if you compare with the uh, last uh, 22 March order book, there is still there is a grow, I mean, significant increase. Oh, I understand that, sir. I totally understand that. Uh, My only Mr. question is... Uh, Mr. Jain, I would request you to kindly rejoin the queue. There are other participants who are waiting for their turn. Sure. Sure. Thank you, sir. The next question is from the line of Aman Waze from Astute Investment Management. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, sorry, sir. Uh, the line was cut sir, earlier. Uh, so, uh, continuing with the previous participant question. So, in terms of uh, number of bids and number of tenders we are participating uh, for defense, uh, if you can talk about bid size or in terms of number of tenders that has come, is it increasing compared to last uh, year? 
or is it the same levels only if you can quantify in that much term? more than last year okay okay so and and on an average so if we have one say 300 uh, crores worth of order yeah, in our uh, right now we have participated and then still in the process and all those almost 600 crores worth tenders are there okay okay so this 600 crore ka whatever result be uh, will come out and then uh, our order book will increase based yes. on this yeah and out, out of this normally what is our hit rate in terms of do we uh, if it for 600 do you expect 300 crore out of it or even higher see in case of counter measures and all those we are the single vendor single qualified vendor indigenous so uh, we are the single vendor so we expect that their quantity to be received by us once they finalized in case of other uh, tenders and all those uh, we are only two vendors two or three vendors and where uh, uh, generally l1 and l2 both get based on the 60 40 so so uh, everywhere will be there So, so that is very hard thing to know. So r- roughly counter measures out of the 600 crore tenders will be how much? So uh, I think maximum major portion is relating to counter measures only. Oh ho! Uh, is it like more than 50 percent is counter measures? Much more. Oh okay okay. So that means then it's it almost uh, there's a very good chance we can get that. uh soon uh sure sure sir and the uh, the expected timeline of sir, this I tender uh, sorry so i would request you to kindly rejoin the queue there are the participants sure. who are waiting for sure, this sure 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 thank you may we request the participants to limit your questions to two per participant should you have a follow up question please rejoin the queue thank you the next question is from the line of manoj sa from laxco investments please go ahead yeah uh, thanks for the opportunity uh, my question is for uh, any export orders uh, do you need to take uh, export license permission from the government on case to case basis or there's a link friendly countries from where where you can export the if you get an export order you can execute the order you don't need to go for a license no every hazardous product which is listed in the items we have to take license case to case order to order we have to approach and take license and uh, generally where we are dealing with friendly countries and all those uh, we don't get any issue and we get but uh, recently like i was talking some big order from turkey and then ukraine we had to lose because there was refusal okay uh, i've got another question like your uh, revenue mix has been changing from early you used to have explosive manufacture explosive now you are getting uh, more into defense the revenues from the defense are uh, uh, increasing day by day so uh, your profile is almost 50 50 mix kind of thing okay as if i see the last year number or if in fy 22 the defense revenues are much higher so uh, how, how do you see it shaping up going forward next to 3 years is something about so this is an exceptional case i has explained earlier the lot of turnover has been dip- defense turnover has been deferred to next year due to the explained reasons but the composition may not be the same in future so 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 your company more than 50% will revenue will come from defense side that we can going forward that's what we can expect yes sir it should be more in line with the previous years Uh, FY 23. Yeah, uh, no, 22. 22. Okay. 23 is an exceptional case, as we explained. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was the last question for today. I would now like to hand the conference over to Mr. T V Chaudhary for closing comments. Over to you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope. Uh, Uh, we could answer all the questions which are listed and all those and uh, i thank all of you for having patience and then being with us and supporting us and we look forward for further growth and better future thank you very much
Thank you, sir. On behalf of Premier Explosives Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us, and we may now disconnect your lines. Thank yeah. you.